been a long time coming, but I think it's time for me to finally go back and review Thirsty Sword Lesbians again. Yes, my white whale, my dragon, my antichrist, the most painful Frankenstein powered by the apocalypse game I've ever seen. At the suggestion of an Argentinian artist, a mother, and a few other people from the Orange server, I will endeavor to bring a more fair and positive review of the game. I think Thirsty Sword Lesbians is a good- <laughs> Wake up, Mr. Anand. Where am I? That doesn't matter, does it? You're exactly where you need to be. Right here, right now. That doesn't explain anything. Nor should it. I will ask a question, and you will answer. You will then reply with interlock at the end of it. Do you understand? Interlock. Wait, wait, what, why? I mean, I... I guess? Interlock? You are alone at the park. It's a pleasant day outside. Are you happy? Interlock. Think I am. Usually I go to the park when I need to clear my head, though, so maybe I'm not. Interlock. Why would you need to clear your head? Interlock. Because I'm stressed out. Why wouldn't I? Hell, I have to get- I have to get these videos done. Make sure the stream is working properly and- and everything else that involves being notepad add-on. Interlock. You are alone again. This time in a crowd of people you don't know. Most of them look like they're working on things like you, but why don't you feel a part of them? Interlock. Well, fuck you too, that's a hell of a question. I, I write games on stream, for God's sakes. What do you expect? I'm a one-man show of possibly the most boring hobby imaginable. I started that just as a method to rubber duck, but I, but I guess it evolved into being more variety content. Interlock. There's another group, smaller and more fragmented. Each one dislikes you, but few of them welcome you with open arms. Why don't you join one of them? Interlock. But I, I'd alienate the others, of course. That's how it always goes. You join one camp and suddenly you're fighting their wars more than your own. Worse yet, when someone decides to join in and start shit for no reason. I mean, fuck. Look at the OSR community at this point. That shit's a war zone of people trying to get into it just as much as out of it. You're with the new SR, you're OSR, or everyone else is at each other's throats for God's sakes. Or what, you want the, 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 the fucking indie crowd? The ones that make a mixture of detailed games no one plays through three-page rule books with 70 pages of art and the ones who keep their incestuous habits of making that same game over and over again? Again, fuck, what was I doing? In interlock, interlock, yeah. You're at a beach in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. You've bloodied your weapons and brought low your enemies. Where are you going now? Interlock. Where am I going? Well, I guess Latin America. I, I can fuck around in Argentina for a while, move up the way through the country, trying to get to either a flight or ride up to Mexico. I, I can worry about my problems then. Wait, why am I... No, that doesn't make any sense. I... Interlock. Why do you talk about games? Interlock. Because who the hell is going to talk about these damn things? The ones that do are older guys with a weird microphone or a camera pointed at an awkward angle paging through a rule book no one can see. I do it because there are other games out there. There are things to fight for. Interlock. And then why are you so negative? Interlock. Because people want heads on fucking pikes, man. That's why they don't want content that's positive. They want things to reaffirm their beliefs or parade around things they don't like. Hell, I'm guilty of it. If you're positive, then nothing happens. People celebrate, but people want the negative ones. People want me to show off the strange macabre nightmare out there for their own amusement. And this isn't even going over the fucking fact that most of the shit I have to go over is horse shit. Christ, another PBATA game. I might just fucking lose it. Interlock. Are you mad of them, yourself, or the industry that produces such thing? Interlock. I can't be mad at them or myself. I just find what I find and tell people about it. I, I can't be the villain here. I'm just a guy telling people about my damn opinion about something I found. Th this industry is rotten to the core, though. Nothing is redeemable here. But God, I wish there was. Interlock. Explain that. Interlock. This industry, this cesspit, oh yeah, why not have just a major storefront taking liberties with everything? Yeah, drive through it's a little bit weird that you and Roll20 are now damn hip. Do you realize that's really the only major storefront you have? What, itch? Good joke. That's hysterical. You want to know why? No organization, everything has equal billing. Big Geek Emporium? You mean the OSR guys have a website from 2006? Christ, that's not even suggesting they don't bring on some schizophrenic 
panic to post on there and awaken the mob. The rest of this industry is a bunch of self-fulfilling prophecies where you need marketing to get anywhere. Constant marketing. Doesn't matter if your game... What? It doesn't matter what your game is. It never matters. All that matters is that you have to put the right words in the right place and feed it through to the right publisher who's in bed with the ones on top anyway. It's a never-ending crab bucket. No one leaves unless you start stabbing. But the issue is that there is an escape, and it's making the same shit as everyone else, but marketing it better. OSR, but better. PBTA, but better. Not a better game, mind you. No, never. Fuck that. Better art, better words, better vibes. And that's not even dealing with a god damn dragon in the room, is it? It's never dealing with the dragon in the room, because we can't kill that one, can we? Interlock. Fuck. I think we're done here, Mr. Anon. Though I think you'll need to talk to the people below. Interlock. What? That's not even a question. How do I f- Ah, no bad. Glad to see you can make it. Can you fill these out? What the hell is going on? Are you... Alex? No Pat Eggleston working here as a secretary, rent free, mind you. Oh, fuck off! Fine, I'll sign. Fuck, God. Okay, what am I signing for anyway? Your papers meet the three, and the others are technically out right now, so you'll just be talking to them. The three. The three other yous, you know, you. But how? Ah, your appointment's up. Get in there, Tiger. Good luck, and don't worry about the monitors. They're there for a reason. It's a pleasure for you to join us, Mr. Notepad, or should I say, me. Get it with the formalities, he knows why he's here. Do, do I? Of course you do, or you wouldn't be here to begin with. Now, let's get to introductions. I am A.P. Blaine, though my friends just call me Notepad Anon. This is, uh, Duke. Hunter Duke. You know who I am, and I'm gonna say, I'm also... No pad on. Who the hell is he? Oyumai san to Kameo san to wa shiriai desu. Wait, is that Japanese? Well, yes, you made him. Well, we made him. Or should we say that he made us? What Stuffy is trying to say here is that yes, he's Japanese, just not the talkative type either. So, what do you want? I had to sign some papers. I I don't even know why I'm here. You got shot. What? You got shot. A 45 to the chest. Bad shot, though. Missed anything too vital. Though, from the thumping, someone wants you to get your ass up, so we'll have to be a little bit quick here. Yo, action point! Finish it up. Fine, fine, fine. All right, we're gonna have to ask a few questions. Just answer truthfully. Interlock? No, no, no. Interlocking was just a shock kicking in to keep you alive. Well, uh... Ask the damn question. Fine. Why do you care so much about all of this? This industry, these games? Can't you just be content with your own little space? I care about it because I'm too deep. I want to learn more, see more, understand more. I see so many of these people fighting tooth and nail for a single game, and most of the time Time they've barely heard of any other ones. And here I am trying to introduce them to things. I'm not going to put myself on some moral high ground or pedestal that I'm doing the Lord's work or anything, but what I am doing is trying my best to show others that they may have never heard of. So why all the negativity? You just hate everything, is that it? Truth be told, it's because I want to give people an honest impression of me. I'm not going to go out there and just find things I like and just make videos about things I appreciate. The people who do that, do, do you know who they are? Of course not. They love everything. You don't know what they don't like, what they don't appreciate. Then you suddenly start thinking, do they hate everything they're not talking about? Do they just dislike what I like? So I go into things. I, I want to tell people the stories of why these games are made, the freaks, the oddities, the has-beens, and hope-to-bees. That's when I started noticing trends, the same people in the same places. It all began to add up. What did? What began to add up? All these connections, the people, the games. Fun fact, most of the indie games Games for owes itself to Ron Edwards, that sniveling cretin, and The Forge. So many games got their start on a forum run by a man who thinks people who don't play narrative games are literally brain damaged. How many games were murdered in the crib by these people? Now that's just led by the counter counter cultures. You think OSR is this venerable set of games? Hell no! Now we're entering this third cycle of counter culture without people understanding we're fucked. We've enabled one company to have damn near 
monopoly on our entire little sphere here. A damn monopoly. So, do you view yourself more as a streamer, a developer, what? Me? I I'm a game designer. I'm, I'm a game design mercenary. Though, to be frank, my game design has been feeling a little lackluster recently. I don't feel that spark of wow as I used to, but I can recover from this. I, I have to recover from it. And yet, here you are, bullet in the gut and having a schizophrenic meltdown. Hey, I never asked for this, okay? Gentlemen, we need to get back on track. So tell us more about this, um, um, empty foxtrot grind set you're on. I'm an empty fuck. Why? I dev games. Why? I want to be happy. Why? Because this hobby is the only thing that makes me genuinely happy anymore? Why? 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 ]落ち着いて呼吸して. I don't understand. I've done this all before. あなたは自分の人生のヒーローなのだから、集中し、自分を保つ必要がある。Keep myself together. 私の後に繰り返してください。私は泣く。あなたは空っぽの抜け殻です。You weep. I am an empty husk. 無限のパワーが溢れ出す。I overflow with boundless power. 皇帝の魂、犠牲の英雄の魂を持っている。現象の運に恵まれる。I have the soul of an emperor, a sacrificial hero, blessed by primal luck. あなたは地獄にいる。それでもあなたは笑っている。I am in hell, yet I smile. I set goals, have a plan, a dev mindset. As long as I'm me, we're all gonna make it. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, notepad, wake up, notepad, wake up, wake up, notepad, wake up. Ah! I still hate thirsty sword lesbians, I think the game has no themes, no goal, no narrative, it is a worthless as a game and as a narrative, as it has no narrative. The unholy gaze refuses to leave us and by god I will not falter in my mad quest to say I still hate this piece of shit. My name is Nopad Anon, and this was Thirsty Sword Lesbians. If you like what I do here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. A many thanks to the patrons as always, Godspeed, good luck, and see you on the infinite grid of death.